We read about it all our lives, Normandy. And there's, uh, there were those that say it was the most important ever to be a part of it and to uh, have number 75. 75 years was very, very special. So uh, we might very much appreciate it. We met some great people today, some tremendous people, some very brave people. That were the final comments there with uh, President Macron there from President Trump. He's now back in, uh, on his way back to Ireland now. And after a, a moving ceremony in Normandy, Allied forces storming the beaches 75 years ago today. We remember that with uh, such fondness and such gratitude. Mercedes Slap, White House Director of Strategic Communications for the North Lawn. Mercedes, good morning. To you. Is, is it lonely at the White House with everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, Kinda I do not. miss my close friends. Yes, I do miss I them guess. terribly, but I know the president's doing an well, amazing they're, they're, job. They're coming back soon. Let, let, let me see how much <laughs> I can get to in five minutes, okay? Go ahead. I think I know what the answer is. G characterize the trip thus far. Well, the trip has been historic. I mean, the president has been able to focus on advancing American interests in Europe. I mean, obviously, that's a clear contrast from what the Democrats are doing, where they're focused on pointless attacks against this president. And obviously, the president's leadership is very strong in terms of working with the U.K. on a trade deal, uh, also being able to honor the brave men and women who served in World War II, and obviously remembering what matters most, which is that of American greatness and the fact that our brave uh, soldiers fought uh, in World War II for the sake of liberty and democracy, something that we cherish so much, something that this president cherishes so much here in the United States. Well, it's a cathedral, Normandy. I think you would admit that, too, an outdoor cathedral, that cemetery. It was quite moving earlier today. Let's get back to the issues right now. Apparently, Politico reports that Nancy Pelosi had some pointed comments last night. Leading Democrats got together. They're talking about impeachment. She said the following. She told her Democratic colleagues that she wants to see President Trump in prison. React to that. I mean I mean, how shocking, seriously. I mean, these Democrats are acting irrational, they're radical, and they're out of touch. They are more focused on attacking this president, undermining this president, than they are to solving the major problems that we're seeing in the United States. Obviously, we have a border crisis right now, something that our administration has been dealing with from the beginning. Have we seen any cooperation coming from the Liberal Democrats? Absolutely not. They continue to live in this world where they believe this border crisis is a manufactured crisis, while the president's doing what he can uh, from an administrative standpoint to ensure that we're able to deal with the overwhelming crisis that we're seeing. Let, at the let me just interject on that. Come back to this prison comment. Apparently, the president told Democrats a week or two ago, and the investigations, if you do that, will go forward on some issues. Democrats are saying, hey, we can do two things at one time. Well, what does this comment do to the efforts to move forward on anything of consequence bipartisan? Well, I think it clearly shows the true colors of Speaker Pelosi and the Democratic Party that are focused and obsessed with investigation after investigation, despite the fact that the president and this administration has been transparent throughout this whole process. They have the Mueller report. We're moving on. Robert Mueller is moving on. And it's time to work on what matters for the American people. If the Democrats continue down this road of just endless investigations, there will be no time for them to focus on legislating. But will the White House, will the president overcome that? I, look, I think that this president, this administration, has tried time and time again to work with the Democrats. And the Democrats have continuously refused to work with our administration in solving the major problems that we see in our country. Obviously, it is because of this president that we've seen such a strong economy. It is because of his policies, whether it be about deregulation or tra tax reform, and the willingness for him to want to work on infrastructure, I, I, I yet the, the Democrats continue to stonewall. I've got to get to one more topic here, but are you saying you're, you're slamming on the brakes because of the commentary you're hearing from House Democrats? Look, we're going to continue to do what we can from an administrative standpoint to move along the policies that the, and the issues that matter to the American people. We do need to see action from the from Congress and from the Democrats to help deal with what we're seeing at the border right now. Just the Custom Border Patrol agents just announced the numbers. You're talking about 144,000 illegals that have been apprehended the, 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 the just numbers, in the month of the May. The numbers are remarkable, and Congress needs to act. You're right on that. But you could push that along in some respects. Now you've got the Mexican delegation there. Uh, I think it's day two of talks later today. 
Um, I heard the Mexican leader, the president, earlier today say he would prefer to avoid a conflict. What, what is the state of play knowing the tariff threat is set for Monday? At 5%. Well, I, we, you, I think we've started on productive talks. Uh, we know that it's because of what the president has, has said about pushing forward on these tariffs that have actually brought the Mexicans to the table. And in essence, what we know is that they're not doing enough. And so they need to take immediate action so we can start seeing numbers go down. Can you what avoid know, the deadline of Monday, yes or no? I think we're going to continue on in these conversations. It looks like we're moving towards this path of tariffs because what we've seen so far is that the Mexicans, what they're proposing is simply not enough. Gonna, we I'm, need okay. them to work closely and cooperate with us in getting operational control of the border and reducing the numbers of illegals crossing I'm, I'm going to put you down for a maybe on that last question, Mercedes. Thank you for coming on today. A lot to talk about when you come back. Thanks, Mercedes. Thank you so much.